Let's dive into ESP now, more specifically into the difference between unicast and broadcast and how they affect package retransmissions and acknowledgements. If you are not familiar with ESP now, it's a protocol developed by Espressif that allows multiple devices to communicate directly using the 2.4 GHz frequency without the need for a Wi-Fi stack. It's a peer-to-peer -peer communication, and if you ever use a wireless mouse or a keyboard with a 2.4 GHz dongle, it's pretty much the same concept. First, let's start with how the code is structured to send ESP now messages. It is actually very simple. All we need to know in advance is the MAC address of the device that we want to send the message to. The code looks something like this. After including the libraries, we record the MAC address of the receiver, then the device declares itself as a sender, then a message is sent out with the ESP now send function. But as you can see, we need to know in advance the MAC address of the receiver. Luckily, there is another way to send messages out. It is called broadcast, and as you have guessed it, it is asking everyone to listen on the message. So any ESP now receiver out there will get the message, but there is a small catch which is not very well documented, and it has to do with retransmissions and acknowledgements. In the code, when you are setting up ESP now, you can specify a callback when the message is successful. It looks something like this. This callback function passes a status variable. When the value of the status is 1, it indicates success, and when it's 0, it indicates failure. This is very straightforward, but what is not obvious at first is when status equals 1 has a different meaning depending if you are using unicast or broadcast. And a refresher, unicast is when a message is sent to one and only one receiver. Broadcast is when a message is sent out to anyone who is listening. To put things in perspective, let's see how an ESP Now communication stream looks like. I set up Wireshark on my computer to capture all the wireless packages around me and I added a filter for ESP Now using the MAC address of the sender and receiver. For this setup, I have a Wemos D1 Mini acting as an ESP Now sender and it's sending out a package every one second to a second Wemos D1 Mini. By capturing the stream, we can see that each message that is sent out is acknowledged right away. This is, however, not the case with broadcast. In broadcast mode, packages are not acknowledged, and that's the first difference. Unicast is acknowledged and thus a bit more robust. Broadcast is not, but it is slightly faster because it doesn't need to wait for an acknowledgement. So that means in the code, in unicast, when status equals 1, means it was sent and received successfully by the receiver, but in broadcast, status equals 1 means it was sent successfully but without any receive confirmation. Another difference is retransmissions. ESP now has a built-in retry mechanism that is not very well known, but the catch is, it only works in unicast, there are no retransmissions in broadcast. Again, here is a stream of ESP Now packages, and halfway I unplug the receiver. ESP Now keeps resending the same message over and over. I counted 11 times in total. Then it gives up and set the status equals 0 in the callback function. I tried the same thing with broadcast with the receiver still unpowered. No retransmissions, not once, confirming that broadcast packages are only sent out once. One thing is still puzzling me though, is this. Here I have an ESP Now node sending broadcast packages, but I don't have any other ESP Now nodes powered on. But yet I am seeing acknowledgements in Wireshark. Let me know down in the comment section if you have an explanation for this. When I initially started using ESP Now, I heavily used broadcast in my sensors because it was easier and I didn't need to know the MAC address of my hub in advance. The hub was my receiver. Then I switched to unicast to take advantage of the retries and acknowledgements. Now I see fewer missed packages, especially when my sensors are placed at the edge of the ESP Now range. 
So this was a quick overview of the ESP Now acknowledgements and retransmissions. I hope this has cleared or verified some of the ESP Now aspects for you. Feel free to share some of your own down in the comment section. I would love to hear them. Thank you for watching.